Hello, Assalamualaikum and good night uh, YouTube. My name is Nur Muhammad from NM Watch. I'm coming from Malaysia and bringing you tonight the full review of my uh, vintage uh, 1974 Timex. Okay, so. I've bought this watch. Um, oh, before that, <laughs> I should wear this watch check. So tonight I'm wearing my Aubrey Morgan Parada on this uh, uh, Bonneto. Okay, so which looks really, really cool by the way. So anyway, so I'm first thing first. I need to say I'm sorry because I've been uh, away for quite for about a month now. A month now. This is because I'm quite busy with my job, my part time job, which is a translator. Okay. So anyway, let's let's get back to the watch. I've purchased this watch somewhere around, I think January, I think, and it took me it this this thing I won it in a in an eBay bid. And this thing came all the way from Australia. Okay, so yeah, it's kind of you know. Normally, I would win an eBay bid from the, the United States, but this time around, it came from Australia. So, so anyway, let's get to the watch itself. So let's first thing first, let's get the dimensions out of, out of the way. So this this watch is thirty four millimeters uh, diameter. Uh, luck to luck from here to here is about forty millimeters, and it has a super super thin profile, which is including this uh, super dome acrylic crystal is about nine millimeters which is really really cool so okay so the the thing that i i attracted most to this watch is that super legible dial as you can see it has a white i'm not sure if it's enamel or anything but it is a super super white uh dial which is really really legible it, it, uh, bec of course this is a, a vintage watch a 1974 vintage watch so of course it has some scratches on the acrylic crystal as you can see maybe yep somewhere around there it's all over the place but yeah it's still very legible and it's still very cool to look at you know so the font is i think it's really really cool um you know it's kind it's kind of an italic italic oh i don't know how to spell it but yeah italic and uh, arabic numerals and of course this uh uh, rectangle hand rectangular hands which is really really cool okay so and yeah the case is i think this is a stainless steel i don't think it is a brass such as other vintage watches you know you can see this this case is a fully polished case all over the surface and the crown the ebay seller mentioned that this is this might not be the original crown but i don't really care because it actually it, it works so this watch features a hand wind movement as you can see here i'm winding it uh, please work please work please work come on come on come on i think i need to wind it about like 40 times before it, it actually runs yep as there that goes and it actually the power reserve i'm not sure about the power reserve but yeah it uh, it run for about one a day and a half, so maybe thirty hours is still achievable. You know? So anyway, I, I I just when I whenever I, I use this watch as a dress watch, I normally wind it wind it every single day. Okay, so um, the movement inside it the seller mentioned that the movement inside is um, I don't know Timex one six zero five maybe. So one six zero five yes, and one six zero five movement somewhere from the nineteen seventies. Okay, so yeah, I, this is a, a a super cool watch because it's super super thin. This I don't have any watch that is such that is, that is so thin such as this, and it looks cool with this uh, white dial. Okay, so I've put it on this um, brown leather strap which i also bought from ebay for a super super cheap price not super cheap super affordable price and this is the um the seller name Z i i'm not sure how to spell this name but slims <laughs> i will put a link down below if you are interested to find this uh to, to buy this uh, strap which i think really match this watch um yeah you have this we are looking forward to for your next visit blah 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 uh, the seller is from Hong Kong and on top of this strap which comes with this um, um, what do you call this deployment buckle yep not deployment buckle this butterfly class sorry butterfly class okay so it also came with a um, spring bar and also a 
uh, spring bar tool which is really cool okay so let's take it away so let's see how it how is the strap yep as I mentioned just now it has a deployment sorry a butterfly class which initially I didn't really know that I'm gonna like or or hate but yeah I think this is really cool so it matches the watch and you know it looks like a now it looks very very expensive it looks like so, so sorry it looks like a more expensive watch than it really is because i think i won this in ebay for about like 30 bucks and i spent about you know, 11 bucks on this one but now it looks like uh, i think it looks like a 100 bucks watch okay so <laughs> anyway so that is only my opinion by the way so let's check out the watch on my wrist all right so yep Okay, so I have to do this at the back of the camera, so yeah, maybe I can show you how to put it. Yep, you have to click this part over here first, and then you click like that, okay. Normally it's not really that difficult, you know, so yeah, you can put it just like that. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, this is a, this luck with, I'm sorry, I forgot to mention about the luck with, luck with is 18mm which is quite small for i think it's, it's it is a an appropriate size for a dress watch um but yeah because this is 80 millimeters so the, this strap tapers to about 16 millimeters over here so it looks like a a woman's watch <laughs> come to think about it yeah so yeah it kind of you know doesn't really suit my style but yeah sometimes i do wear this watch whenever i need something dressy and because it has that super dome uh, crystal, it really, really looks cool, in my opinion. So yeah, I, I, I some sometimes yes wear this on a dressy occasion. But yeah, I, I use it when I, when I have my coat or blazers on, or during a business meeting, meeting or something like that. But yeah, I think I know. I don't know. I think I'm gonna sell it. <laughs> so anyway, I think I'm gonna sell it, and I'm going to sell it in Japan. Yep. So why Japan? So I have to tell you because um, previously I had another um, Timex vintage Timex also from but that one is an automatic. So what happened is initially I bought that watch for about like I don't know thirty bucks, almost the same as this one, but I managed to sell it for about um, I think it was sixty bucks in Japan. So I'm going to do the same. I'm gonna be polishing this watch crystal to make it much more clearer. And I'm going to be selling this watch in Japan, where which I think this will give me almost the same price as the previous Timex that I have um, sold, that I have bought and sold. Okay, so if you guys happen to have a vintage Timex and you wanna you know try your luck and by selling them to to uh, to sellers in Japan, go check out the um, Nakano Sun Plaza. Nakano Sun Plaza, they are, they are, there's quite a lot of you know vintage uh, watches, vintage watches store over there, and they do really really uh, you know take your vintage Timex, which with a much higher price. Okay, so yeah, I do recommend if you do come to visit Japan, please go there and sell your Timex watches. You know, not only Timex, but because they I think they they value. Um, Swiss watches also, and also, and also they, they value uh, the American watches because I think based on my observation, observation over there, I could find Timex with you know quite expensive price that they put. So yeah, why not? You know, if if you have the chance to go, you can just uh, you know go and sell your watches. Okay, <laughs> okay. So um, I think that is all. Oh, sorry, sorry. We I need to show you the case back. The case back here mentioned. Uh, metal bezel and stainless steel bag so it is a sorry so it is a base metal bezel and stainless steel case bag so this is a base metal so yeah it might be a brass but this one is uh, stainless steel okay so yeah I think yeah for 30 bucks hmm, this is a cool um, way to start your own vintage collection but yeah as I mentioned just now I'm not gonna keep this I'm gonna sell it off to Japan okay so if you guys have any um, any uh, if you guys do have something similar to this please do let me know how how it performs I think it, it performs uh, very very nice it 
so far it's been keeping a very good time so if you, you do have something similar to this please do let me know down below and give your thoughts okay so if you have any inquiries on how to go to japan sorry how to sell your your watches in japan please do um uh, give, leave comments down below and if you like this video please give me a thumbs up and if you want to see more of this kind of videos from me please give me a subscribe so okay so until next video i'll see you soon bye bye